this is the tale thus far. In the Dead Kingdom, a tale of a merchant shrouded in mystery and smoke. A bell rang, a throne roared skyward. But death could not meet its lord. Challenger enters the arena. But what does he see? Absolution from death. No! This one yet lives. Quiet! He will tell us his cause. Speak, Challenger. I'm here to defeat your champion. And so all Challengers boast. Souls burn from existence, and our champion of all the stronger for it. Enough! Bring out your champion! Yes. There is power in this one, power enough to do as he claims. But our champion is no cur to be summoned at will. You must draw him forth. This altar holds his power. The souls of all he has slain and consumed. Three animal stones must be placed therein. And our champion will arrive. I was so hoping you would not return. <sighs> what of the arena's champion, then? He won't be entertaining you any longer. No. Impossible. I believe your king will see me now. I cannot deny you. The living horsemen have souls long overdue. You are not welcome here. Pity. I was starting to enjoy the atmosphere. Then you have not been here long. Billions of souls crowd my kingdom. All of humanity wailing for vengeance. But... I see you are already familiar with such music. What would you have of me, horseman? Show me the way to the Well of Souls. <laughs> and what do you seek there? Power over life and death? Or do you hope for absolution, Kinslayer? I wondered where the souls of your brethren had gone. For they never pass through my realm. Your realm hardly needs more subjects. True. Yet I must face this rabble without the lords who serve me. That's not my concern. Make it your concern. And I will grant your request. Find my three dead lords and wake them from their slumber. This will bend them to your will. Return the lords to me, that they might share my burden. A grand arena gilded by blood. A giant slain, a toll paid in full. But before the king will help our rider, he must have his dead core. Leave, horseman. 
while you still can. of the dead, not the damned. And what of the pleas of your lord? I serve him even now, though he would reward my efforts with eternal torment. You did leave the eternal throne. Even here there are souls lost, waiting to be judged and sent into the city of the dead. I have heard three such spirits wandering the corridors. Find them and bring them back to me. Once I have cleansed them of their past, I will hear what troubles the Lord of Bones. I hear the pleas of the dead. Before a soul can enter the City of the Dead, its secrets must be laid bare and its life judged. It is a matter of mercy. The souls will wander, lost and blind, until then. Judgment is at hand. Humans, always so frightened. See your life as you truly live. It is finished. Your lord summons you. I am ever his servant. You forget your station, Nephilim. You may be a horseman, but I am a lord of the dead. And your king demands an audience. This realm belongs to corruption now. None alive can stand against it. You... misjudge me. You ride without the power of the seals at your back. You would not survive even the weakest trial of the realm. I brought low the arena's champion. <laughs> that is but a game, Pale Rider. There are other trials meant to punish. Speak with the voice in the Gilded Arena. Ask of the Psychomeron. If you live, we will speak again. So you have returned. What is it you seek this time? I seek the Psychomeron. few to spare. <laughs> Indeed. But I wonder, are they too old to burn after so many eons? Why do you defy them? I hoped the champion would arise who could face the corruption. And you have come far, horseman. A pity that your journey ends here. Thank you. 
Bones. Forsaken your duty. I have no more use for you. What is this? I don't like being toyed with. They failed me. But you have earned my gratitude. I will send you to one in my kingdom who knows the way to the well of souls. But first, there are demons that you must face. I've already faced and killed many. Not like these. There is great power bound in that amulet. But your shame stays its unlocking. I regret nothing. Oh, I can see beyond your flesh to where the true battle rages. The king's need was exceeded by anger. Those who would help were destroyed. But from their deaths, a new power, drawn from sin, and an army that would live once more. Horseman, what did you learn from the Lord of Bones? I suppose your king lives up to his name, if not his bargains. The dead king has granted you passage to the city of the dead. Who must I seek in the city of the dead? You should worry more about the one who seeks you. Answer my question, Scarecrow. <laughs> There's no fun in simply telling you. Then speak no more. I'd keep watch on my own neck if I were you. would I be but the city of the dead? Would you like to ask a question, or just stand there like you've seen a ghost? Tell me how to reach the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls is a place of unimaginable power, the key to life and death, of creation itself. And that is why the Well has a key of its own, one that was divided long ago. The angels keep one half, and the demons the other. And never shall the two meet. Unless you truly mean to save your brother. To save war, I would storm the White City. Of that, I am more than certain. But there is no need. The angels have realms beyond the White City, as the demons do beyond their dark kingdom. All will become clear to you once you reach the tree. I've already done that, Crowfather. Nevertheless, you must find the tree again, and go wherever it takes you. 
How can I restore humanity? The Well of Souls is where all life begins. Where the souls of the dead are born into their new lives. I killed the beast that haunted this place. I freed the souls of humanity. And in other times, that would be enough. But something draws power from the well, leaving only void where there once was life. I fear you have only released the souls into further torment. Then there is no hope. Humanity is lost. Not so. Even now, you carry with you the power to restore the well. The Nephilim? If you sacrifice their souls, yes. They alone have the power to undo what was done. So I must sacrifice the Nephilim, my kin to restore mankind. The Nephilim are dead, by your own hand. That broken talisman is all that remains. Would you leave them to eternal torment in that cage upon your chest? 